Underneath, both underneath the covers. Is it cold or something? Huh? Is it cold or something? <laughs> oh. oh, good morning, good morning, good morning, little ones. Good morning. Yeah, you got your ball already, do you? You got your ball. Already. Oh boy. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Well, I parked uptown here in Qualcomm Beach right outside the library last night because first I had to upload a video. And then I just felt like doing some Wi Fi all night long. Oh. So now it's time to get up. And I'll show you where we're at. Oh, right girls? Right girls? Yeah. <laughs> Are you still cold? Are you still cold? Are you still cold? Are you still cold? You cold? <laughs> Are you cold? Yeah, okay. Time to get up. Get my coffee and do stuff. And here we are, we're parked right outside the library, downtown Qualicum Beach there, there's the library right out the window here, that's the library there, and then on this side we have the BMO Bank there, that's on that side, <laughs> just parked right outside the library there, there's the library and the bank, sorry, <laughs> now it's time to make coffee, let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, there we go, just waking up right outside the library, right downtown Qualicum Beach. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome, awesome. Got Wi-Fi right next out, right next door outside here. Nice hot cup of coffee, and then uh, we're going to make breakfast, too. Right, girls? Right, girls? We're going to make breakfast, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's finish this and move on, right? Right? Let's move on, okay? Ciao. <laughs> so now we're going to make tostadas over the propane flame. Yeah. Make nice toasty tostadas. So I buttered my tostadas, and for this recipe, what I like is I like to put mayonnaise on my tostadas for the coming event, and you'll see that in a moment or two. So 
putting just some mayonnaise on the tostadas and then you'll see what we do next So, duck eggs over easy, on to the tostadas with the mayonnaise and the butter. There we go. I love my duck eggs, I love them over easy, and I love them with, on toast with mayonnaise. So there we go. <laughs> there we are. So this is how I like my eggs sometimes. Ooey gooey runniness. Look at that. Oh, look at that yolk. Look at that yolk oozing out into the mayonnaise and mixing with the mayonnaise. Oh my God, these are going to be ooey gooey and delicious. So that's how we do those. Just like this. Oh, there goes another one. There we go. Oh, hot and ooey gooey mayonnaise and egg yolk. Yeah, this is going to be messy. <laughs> There we go. These are going to be so ooey and gooey and messy. I'm going to have to eat them with a knife and fork. Because <laughs> they're all over the plate and everything. All over the plate and everything. <laughs> Lots of mayo and egg yolk. And toast. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Look at how gooey that is. Gooey, gooey, gooey. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Nice ooey gooey runniness. I just love it. Just love it. Just love my eggs done this way. Man, so good, so good. So good. Let's see if I can pick one up. Oh, there we go. That is so good. That is so good. And I love mayonnaise a lot. I love it a lot. I could actually eat the mayonnaise right out of the jar on a spoon. That's how much I love it. <laughs> mm. So this is going to be wonderful. Mm. So let me finish eating. And we'll get on to something new, okay? Ciao for now. So here we are, right out in the downtown Qualicum here. There's the BMO, there's Bailey's Coffee, there's the town square and the fountain and everything, and here is the library. Here is the library, so let's get off here. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, yeah, there we are. <laughs> Just parked out downtown Guadalcamere outside the library. It's pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. And well, there's the bank across the street again. And, uh, this is where we camped out. <laughs> so now that we've had our coffee, our breakfast and everything, maybe it's time we should move on. Go get the girls and take off. Right? Ciao.
Okay, here we are at the Home Hardware Home Building Center. This one's in French Creek, and uh, it's better than uh, the other uh, home hardware stores in Qualicum and Parksville. This one here has much more stuff um, available here than uh, the other um, the other two stores. Anyway, um, I need a piece of fencing for my front window, my bay window there, and that's what I'm coming here for because it'll be the only way to find it. So. Let's go in, okay? Okay, they don't have an actual uh, fencing piece that I'm looking for, pre-done fencing piece. I'm pretty positive they have them at Home Depot, but that's way down in Nanaimo. And I don't want to drive all the way down there for one, and two, if they don't have it, then it's a waste of my time. <laughs> but this will be about right. It's a um, two and a half by... Uh, by not quite one inch so this will be perfect i can put it up there temporarily then i can draw my pattern on it and take the dremel and uh, cut out the pattern i want to make it look cool and this is a more than probably twice what i need but i can always use this the extra piece for something else so let's go take this up to the checkout and uh, pay for it ciao okay here we go here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, there we go. I got my piece of wood here for the fence in my window. And I got a bunch of other knickknacks and doodads for working on a bunch of different projects. So, what do you want? What do you want? <laughs> okay, we got to put them all in the back here. There's got no room up front. All right. There we go. Let's do this. Okay, I guess just toss everything in here where I can find somewhere. These are cool. These are, I had a bunch of these and someone stole them, but they're for doing uh, hot dogs over the fire, put a couple wieners on there, two at once, and they're long enough they don't burn your uh, hands while you're trying to roast them. <laughs> so those are cool. And get this stick up. Oops, smash my window, why don't I? <laughs> I can be really clumsy. There we go, wood in there and a bag of goodies. Bag of goodies, I'll show you when we get there. Ciao. What do you think, girls? What do you think, girls? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, yeah. So I got this uh, string of LED lights up here. Um, I already They're like 30 feet long. And I already just wrapped them around from the nails that were already there. Back and forth, back and forth. And basically they uh, work with this uh, little button here. They take two AA batteries, so no big deal, not much power. And then they work like this where I push the button There we go, and then I can change formats to whatever, and then I just get them to where they're solid. Solid on all the time like that, and they give a really nice ambience at night uh, in here, so they're going to anyway. So yeah, oh well, that's the one that goes on and off, okay. So now we just have to select another one. There we go, that's the correct one, that'll stay on. There we go. Give a nice ambience in the uh, place at night. All right, let's see what's next. So here we go, we got some more stuff in this bag here. We got some more goop for uh, replacing the uh, glass in my wood stove, the one that got broke. I'm replacing that one. All kind of fell out in the bag here, but I got a handful of screws here for screwing that board up for my fence along my bay window there. Got a bag of screws there. But one important thing that I've been meaning to do is we got this uh, uh, insulation uh, that goes around the door. It's, uh, these rolls of insulation. 
that they go around the door so it can uh, seal off all the winter air out there so I got that finally and uh, hopefully get that on real soon and uh, help keep this place even toastier with less fuel consumption <laughs> so here's that now this wooden uh, board I got here um, it's like uh, maybe not even three quarters of an inch thick and it's two inches deep and that was the shortest one they had so I had to get one this long but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece here cut it there and cut it over on the other side over here uh, so it fits right in there and then cut angles this way and that way on the other side and then I can just pop it right in there and uh, put a couple of screw holes right through there and out the other side there and then what I would do is then I would take something and I would draw a pattern on here some kind of pattern I haven't figured it out yet something that looks like a little fence or something and then I can take the Dremel and then just drill all the pattern out so it looks like a really cool fence put up there so yeah that's going to take me a while though because I have to uh, basically cut these uh, boards on each end at an angle so it fits exactly in there and then uh, then drill them out drill the whole thing pre-drill it all and then put the screws in and uh, make sure it stays up there but that's going to be another project uh, for another day that one I'm going to have to uh, Put aside some time to do that but uh weather weather stripping i can get on that this afternoon if i want to and uh just uh just uh do that weather stripping this afternoon or something and uh get this thing more airtight than that so we could get on with that couldn't we girls right right okay so those uh projects are gonna have to wait because we got a whole list of uh, shopping we need to do as well today and we have to do it before some of the places close and before it gets too dark so all this other stuff is going to have to wait uh, for now and we'll have to do that uh, in the evening or something when it's darker out and you know uh, we don't have to hit the stores and stuff so let's uh, get on the road and do that and now that the truck and camper is all hooked up again let's just get on the road and go do that and get the shopping done okay all right, let's do this. <laughs> okay, let's hit the road, Jack. <laughs> 